Have you been wanting to pursue your master's or PhD on fully funded scholarship at a leading university in the UK? This scholarship covers tuition fees, travel costs, visa costs, health coverage costs, and most interestingly, it covers special support for mothers, meaning you can move with your dependent children to the UK. It also covers English language support for those that want to do the IELTS. Then watch this video till the end as I take you through the process of this application. Hi, my name is Sylvia and welcome back to the channel. Click the subscribe button to subscribe to the channel. Also like and share this video to your family and friends. Wonderful Scholarship is being sponsored by the British Council and this is the official website of British Council. And here it says British Council Women in STEM Scholarships. This particular scholarship is basically for women in STEM and STEM means science, technology, engineering and mathematical backgrounds. So if you're a woman and you have acquired your bachelor degree in any of these subjects, science, technology, engineering and mathematics program, this is a huge opportunity for you to take advantage of to do your master's in any of this field or your PhD. This particular scholarship is for those from the Americas, South Asia, South Asia, East Asia, Western Balkans, Central Asia, Brazil, Egypt, Mexico, and Turkey. So if you're in any of these countries, so this is a huge opportunity for you to take advantage. Or if you also know anyone that would need this particular scholarship offer, please do well to share this video to as many friends as possible that are women, even if they have children, to make advan to take advantage of this opportunity. The main aim of this scholarship is to increase the opportunity for women and girls in STEM by the UNESCO. The eligibility criteria, and here it says for both master's scholarship and PhD scholarships. So please look through and see if your country is represented here and take advantage of this opportunity. And it says here, looking for women who can start this program in October 23, 24 and can demonstrate a need for financial support and have an undergraduate degree already and can attain the level of English language requirements and are active in the field of work experience. So, and you are not eligible if you're holding a citizen, if you're a British citizen or you hold dual citizenship, and if you have any relationship with anyone working with the um, British Council. The main benefits include that you'll be studying in one of the UK's prestigious university, and there will be economic support, which include the tuition fees, stipends, travel costs, visa, and health coverage fees, special support for mothers, also English language support for those that want to do the IELTS. And how do you apply? You would simply apply by going directly to each of these um, links if you want to do master's. So you click on this link and it will show you the universities that offer this um, program. So you will directly click on the website of the university and apply for either of these courses that you are seeing here so it's only for the, those courses that are listed here and for fellowship you would also see that this is for the east asia this is the universities that that offer fellowship so you click on their websites to get more information and for south asia these are the universities you click on the website to get more information there because here they said if you have any questions please write to this particular email directly or you write to your direct or your rights directly to the university you are applying to. Feel free to click on any of these links to get more information, but quickly I would like to click on this frequently asked questions so that we see what is in there. It was last updated 3rd of February, so of recent, and here it says that the deadline for this application is late February until latest on May 22nd, 2023. So you still have enough time to make this application. And here it says the scholarship scheme covers tuition fees, stipend, travel costs, house coverage, also a special support for mothers, like I already said earlier. Is there any age limits? No, there is no age limit. Which are the eligible countries? So these are the eligible countries for masters, for both masters and early academic fellowship. These are the countries that are listed, India, Pakistan, Bangladesh, and the rest. Master scholarship only. These are the cost, these are the countries listed albania bosnia and the rest but there there are over 97 scholarships 
Can women with children apply? Yes, there is a support for women with dependent children. Do I need to complete IELTS to apply? You do not need to complete this, but to be awarded this place, you would need to demonstrate the required level of English. So that is why they're offering also a support for those that want to also complete the English language test. Go through it and yeah, have your questions answered. So how to apply to this scholarship? It says application should be made directly to the participation university. Please click on the links below for your chosen region or country for specific institutional information. So this means that you should click and check what is the deadline based on this university because deadlines could differ also based on university level. So for example, for master's program, I'll, let me click on South Asia, and these are the universities here. So um, look through it, but for example, I will click on University of Southampton and see what they offer. So I'll just basically click on this website and it redirects me here to the University of Southampton and automatically you see the British Council Scholarship for Women in STEM. And when you scroll down, it says, level of studies, postgraduate study, and these are the eligibility programs. So any of these programs is what you should be applying to. And the full coverage is tuition, 12 months monthly stipend of 1,236 pounds per month, covering living costs, accommodation, where applicable also child allowance according to the UK's requirement, IOTS exam fee for scholars without a valid test of English, return economic class travel from home country to the UK, visa and insurance so this is really why give this video a thumbs up if you're getting value from it also share to your friends who are women to take advantage of this opportunity and here he says who can apply you can see you have to be a female from the holding a resident a permanent resident from bangladesh india nepal pakistan or sri lanka and you should be ready to take up a full-time course from September, October, 2023, 2024. You have to demonstrate your need of financial support. I mean, just go through this and yeah, if this is resonating with you, the first thing you need to do is to click on this place online form to make application for any of these programs here. That is eligible programs and and then after that, you would come over here and click on this to complete the application form. And this you should do before the 12th May 2023 for this particular university. And afterwards, you will be notified of your the outcome of your application by the end of May 2023. And here it says incomplete application or those that do not meet eligibility criteria will be removed from the selection process. So please take note of this. So quickly, I will just click on this online form to show us how it looks like. It directs you to this point where it says postgraduate thought applications. And here you see how to apply, find your course, check the entry requirements, apply online, submit application, apply for scholarship funding, yeah, tracking, receiving and exploring. So basically you already know your course because this course is already listed for you. So the only thing you have to do is to check the entry requirement for this course to make sure that you meet the entry requirements for this course. So by clicking on country specific information, entry requirement. So when I click on country specific information, it brings me there to country to this page where it says select your region and I'm Asia. I select Asia and for the purpose here, I'm going to select Bangladesh and it goes straight to tell me that this is in the information for Bangladesh students course entry requirements I click here and you have to scroll down postgraduate entry requirements so for MSc they require a master's degree at a minimum of 70 percent with a bachelor degree of at least three years old and yeah so you have to know this and you should also know for PhD yeah this is what is required the English language test if you want to support you click here and find out more after you're okay with everything you just Click down here, apply online, and basically it brings you to this homepage of University of Southampton, where you would click on register to register yourself. Which of this which of this applies to you? I'm a student. No, I'm not a student, so I'm other. I click on continue, and I am not at the university yet. Yes, I click on continue. Do you wish to sign in or register? I have to register because I've not signed in before. So you 
you can register with your email address and any of these you accept the terms and condition and continue and here it welcomes me and say click on applicant home and here is the applicant's home and this is basically where i'll be making this application and here you can create your application and after that you will see all the submitted applications that you have so basically you click on create application and you say start application once you come here this is already the interface where you'll be making this application and it should be in basically up to 16 steps program agency information applicant details yeah basically this is it and the very first step is for you to select your program and this is important so to search for the program you launch this particular box and you search here so once you're searching here please remember to put this asterisk here to enable you to find this course so be sure to select the one that exactly match this one that we saw here which is operational research and here I'm going to select operational research and say select. And once you're done, it says, please click here to find additional information, including eligibility criteria. So you can do this, but we already saw this previously. And the commencement is 25th of September and you click on next. So once you click on next, automatically it ticked the first one that is done, which means I have already completed this process. So it goes automatically to the next one please select which of the program that best describes you and you click next automatically brings you to the next one which is the applicant's details so this is where you're going to fill in all your details please make sure everything is correct and it goes on and on until you complete this so and at any point if you want to also stop you can pause come back to it but i advise you to get all your documents ready so that you save it somewhere on your pc but if for any reason you need to log out and always click on this point and come to the applicant home. So once you click on applicant home, it brings you back to this point where you see, okay, this is the program that I selected. I started this on this date and my application status is in draft. This is my commencement. This everything basically is here. So if I want to go back again, I just click on this view details and it brings me back to this point so you can easily go back and come back again and continue after filling the online form remember this was the application you made for the course into the university of southampton then you come over here and then click on this application scholarship application form to now make the application for this particular scholarship and when you click on this application form it brings you directly to this particular web page where you make the application for this scholarship in the University of Southampton and this is basically what you have to do you just go through this form putting in your details what is marked asterisk is compulsory and basically it's in page three so it's just in three pages so after that you click on next and continue to you send the application then that's where you have completed the whole application let me know in the comment section below if you would be applying to this wonderful opportunity i would love to read your comments i wish you good luck this is pretty much it please subscribe to the channel if you have not done so like and share this video for others to benefit from it drop your comments and concerns and i will respond to each of them and with this i want to say thank you very much for watching and see you on the next one bye